Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. We are all familiar with how Mercury retrograde can turn even the simplest conversations, meetings, phone calls, or any form of communication upside down. However, the drastic changes felt during Mercury retrograde aren't just for the couple of weeks the planet of communication is seemingly moving backward. Mercury retroshade, the periods before or after Mercury retrograde, also impacts us. Having been born a week before Mercury retrograde began, I always wondered why I felt the significant effects of the planet in retrograde motion on a soulful level. Throughout my celestial studies and journey into being a professional astrologer, I believe I was the one to first coin the term retroshade after observing things become the most intense, wonky, dizzy, and dramatic weeks before and after the official Mercury planetary moonwalk commences. The pre-shadow or pre-retrograde period is when the planet begins to disclose the story that we will be dealing with during the retrograde. Post-shadow or post-retrograde is when we go through the path we traced during the pre-shadow and retrograde for a third time. It's our third chance to deal with matters and make final decisions about how we want to move forward with our lives. Therefore, it is the shadiest time ever. Retroshade refers to the two weeks before and after a planet's retrograde commences and ends, and the planet is moving slower than usual. The retroshade happens before the retrograde, when the planet isn't moving at its average speed and we get a first pass of the degrees of the sign affected by the retrograde. After that, retrograde begins and moves backward over the same degrees as the pre-shadow. When the retrograde is finished and the planet is moving forward again, it will be at the same degrees as the pre-shadow for a third time. This is the post-retrograde slash retroshade. Mercury is retrograde when the trickster planet moves backward by a degree. Retroshade is when it moves forward in a slower motion. Mercury retroshade can make us more aware of problems since we tend to overthink as Mercury prepares to go on strike and moonwalk. However, the post-retrograde retroshade can enable us to make final choices on things we've been waffling back and forth over during the retrograde. The first Mercury retrograde happened in Aries from April 1st to April 25th. The pre-retrograde slash retroshade for that one took place from March 18th to April 1st and then post-retrograde was from April 25th to May 13th. Mercury retrograde will go retrograde again in Virgo and Leo starting on August 4th to August 28th. The pre-retrograde slash retroshade period will be from July 16th to August 4th and post-retrograde slash retroshade begins August 28th to September 11th. To wrap up the year, Mercury will retrograde in Sagittarius from November 25th to December 15th. The pre-retrograde slash retroshade period will be from November 7th to November 25th and the post-retrograde period will be from December 15th to January 2nd. This period is when exes or former friends might come back into our lives, or we may be thinking about them the most. If you feel you have unfinished business with someone, have heartfelt conversations, and get the closure you need. Projects put on the back burner may also be of interest at this time. This is an excellent opportunity to rethink and reassess the direction of the endeavor. Rest and chill. Schedule a spa day or massage to help you decompress and relax. The world is stressful as it is, but when the planet Mercury begins to slow down, we can get anxious because we are overthinking. This is all the more reason why self-care is critical. Lavender scent is very soothing which makes it a great flower or essence to have in the home and apply to the body. It helps us connect with our thoughts and hearts. Don't let the retroshade ruin your day. Double-check emails and texts before sending them out to avoid miscommunication, especially regarding work and relationships. Also, watch out for tonality. It's time for you to make more time for fun and play during the summer. Instead of working yourself to the bone, make sure that you have a moment to cut loose as well. After all, you're always trying to advance yourself to be first place in everything that you do, so it will benefit you to have a release. Always being the bell of the ball and life of the party means that you also need time to find a balance to rest. Take a moment to reconnect with yourself and